Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how a uh, hydraulic burst testing machine from HP Plastic Makina is working. This is hydraulic model. The maximum pressure is depending on the customer request and it's uh, coming to you with the requested test area and test uh, uh, sample clamp sets. Uh, machine is according to ISO. 13938-1 uh, and it's hydraulic motor it's working like this you have here sample clamping uh, first of all you need a, a rubber membrane and for restricting the twist of the rubber membrane that you prepared from the rubber sheet like this it's rubber sheet you can prepare and cut the membrane circular membrane like this and then you need to punch it to make a hole this punch is needed for uh, restricting the twisting of the rubber membrane during assembly of the sample piece and it's coming to that pin yeah this pin will restrict the membrane from twisting when you uh, tightening the ring put the appropriate test ring with the specified test areas yeah then tighten the ring Tighten the ring. After tightening the ring, you prepare the sample piece, put it uh, on the clamp. You also have transducer there first. Uh, move it upward to put the sample piece stretch the sample piece and then you can uh, yeah you can uh, clamp the sample piece it's pneumatic and uh, the inlet uh, compressor pressure need not to be less than five or six bar Yes, for restricting the slippage of the sample piece. You have here uh, a drain valve. During testing, it should be closed. You also have a pressure rate controller. It's controlling the pressure increase rate. 50 is the maximum and 20 and whatever you want, you can adjust it using the volume key. Here you have the main page. You can set the general parameters here on this on the first page. And here you have the test page. In the first page you also have uh, a, an important parameter. Let me show you here. It is uh, the time. The time is the maximum time uh, that the test need not to be more than this. Whenever the time going higher than this value it will be stopped automatically that's all here uh, you have uh, parameters for start of the test what you need to do is to reset the displacement it should be less than the displacement need to be less than 100 millimeter when you assemble the sample piece when it's higher than 100 meaning that the, the assembly of the sample piece is not correct and the transducer is lower than the the, the place that intended yes we clamp the sample 
and now you see that the displacement showing less than 100 millimeter you reset the displacement yes first uh, membrane pressure also need to be uh, reset to zero yeah and then uh, you can click on stop yeah test stop when when during the start of the test you see the max displacement is minus you need to stop and start it again yeah reset displacement and then test the start when you clicked on test the start you can set the rate using this pressure rate here you can lower it yes to have lower pressure increase rate you see the sample is coming up the transducer showing the displacement and the max pressure is showing here on max pressure see the sample and whenever sample is burst you need to click on test the stop you see yeah it's bursting now sample is going to burst yeah then click on stop the the display will save the max pressure and max displacement here you can also see the pressure uh, graph here you can adjust the maximum of the graph area yeah you can uh, see also max pressure here and max displacement you can also save the graph to flash disk if you put a flash disk here you can save the graph data and after that you can also uh, click on finish and save data you will have saved data on this table yeah whenever you you see when you click on save last report you will have a save of the last report data when you click on uh, print go back to the test page when you click on print last report you will have a printout of the last report on thermal printer here you will have parameters here like uh, burst pressure burst displacement and so on and, and sample parameters yeah, that's all it's easy to set up the machine easy to work with it as I said uh, machine is coming to the customer with request that the test areas and clamp sets like this you can easily change the clamp sets like this this is 120.8 and it's 128 the test area you can easily change it like I'm showing you yeah first drain then open clamp This is the first piece of neck. Then move the transducer upward. Yeah, you can easily remove it. You see the transducer has spring area and you can easily bend it to assemble the other one. Yes. 
the second piece of neck it's okay also you need to change the membrane and, and I showed you how to assemble the membrane in the beginning of this video you can easily change the ring appropriate ring for this uh, test area and clamp I mean uh, it's easy it's very easy to work with this machine the machine is from AHP plastic machina you can get in touch with us on our email address through our website you can follow us on youtube channel for more videos and detailed videos for training thank you